people, uh, Carlina here. So just a little thing. So today I had an amazing uh, Julia Cameron day um, because, yeah, so how do I say? Okay, so I've got a really old laptop, uh, which I love and it's still going. So I'm still, you know, rumbling through. But the power cord basically decided to stop working and my laptop was dead. So I bought one online yesterday, a power cord, and turned out it was the wrong one. So I ended up going into Covent Garden, to the Apple store. It all got sorted. Everything takes long, blah, blah, blah. But once I was there, I was like, fuck it, let's have, you know, have a little browse. And I ended up, as some of you know, or I don't know if all of you, some of you, but last Sunday was my birthday. And I've bought a few things that I needed, but I hadn't really bought anything for myself or had received any presents from like family and all that because I'm far away and you know, post is expensive from DR or almost inexistent to carry stuff or whatever my family and my brothers are, Colombia, Boston, etc. etc. So um so yeah, so I decided in the spur of the moment, I decided to treat myself and I'm going to go in order of things that I bought. Um, so, what did I buy? I ended up going to Jo Malone because I love their scents. Um, and the lady was like, shall I gift wrap it for you? And I'm like, actually, yeah, hello. So, so she did. And what did I do? And I'm going to wrap in here with you so I can show you. Um, what did I get? What did I get? So I go, let me bring you close. Look at that. All wrapped up and pretty. And I got myself a. orange blossom candle for my wife cage or like my friend Jenny calls it she calls it my wife cage <laughs> so that might be even more appropriate um so yeah so there you have it I'm really excited and it comes with its own posh matches so this is part of my Carlina presents for myself so I got that that was the first thing I got and then the second thing, I had a little browse around the market and I um, I bumped into these guys, which is their bus buskers. I'm just I'm kneeling so you could see me. Buskers and they are ZHL String Ensemble. And um, they really brightened my day. They really, really did. It was absolutely gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Um, yeah what else and that was that was gift number two it was really lovely and then i went and i bumped into oh there sorry battery i bumped into this place called pure records progression i think that's the name and they do clocks out of records and i love records and i need to have something to keep me on time in this white cage <laughs> white cave cage cave and uh, i think where's the battery oh i need to put a battery i think he, he didn't put on a battery oh shame i thought uh, but that's all right i've got a battery here so i'm gonna give this a wipe but this is a beatles record and it actually works so if i want to listen to it i can just take all these needle things and bloop, plug it in and it's it's a single can buy me love and then it's another one that's unknown i can't even remember the name but original record 1964 1964 record this made me so happy i've already found this place to put it in um he was like you can have a big one and there were massive ones and you know proper records and i was like no no, no. this is perfect because it's small and then in the same shop i bought we've got a record player at home 
So I bought special edition the Abbey Road, the Abbey Road record. Why not? It's a proper, really nice edition because it's you know that they had the record Apple, and that it's a green, it's a green edition. So. Fuck. Oh. Yes. I'm really, I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, you know what I mean? People say, oh, London's dead. And I'm like, fuck off. London ain't dead. It ain't dead. What are you going on about? I mean, there's little shops. And then I was like about to leave. And then on the other side, he was, he had books. You know my like thing for books, right? Um, and like old books, like really. And I was re even cheap, like first editions and really old books. And I just went through them until I found one of my favorite books when I was a child and still is. And still is. Do you know what it is? I'm so happy with this. I am chuffed, really, mega, really chuffed. Um, and beautiful. And I mean, it made me so happy. You know, out of state, stay time with yourself, whatever. Uh, I was like, I'm going out. This is so nice. I've got a couple more. Um, I don't really buy stuff for myself, like I can spend months without buying anything for myself, nothing. And then I go like this and when I, and when I, you know, you know, I'm, a, I'm intense, I'm an all or nothing. So today was a day of all, not even, and there are things that I need that I haven't bought, but I'm like, I don't necessarily need all this shit. Like it's not, you know, and stuff, but I was like, fuck it. It was my birthday last week and even if it didn't it just it made me really happy and then i bumped into uh, this guy called darius he's from poland and in the market he has his own company darium there it is darium and he uh, makes he makes candles and scents and all that and he gave me this which is like a wax wax melt you put in your in your candle burner on the top and it would be like scented and i was like oh yes please and it was just a little present and then we started chatting and um and i got you know guess what another candle um the other one you see like from from joe malone to uh, an independent dude that makes his candles um and this is this is the little brand Darium and oh oh fuck yeah this is called gold and I wanna be gold I wanna be gold I, I work towards your settlement I'm not there I'm a bit rusty rough around the edges but you know working so i don't get me some kind of gold in a fucking candle yeah yeah and i also got a pattern because I, I don't know if some of you know but um, i'm insomniac i have to listen like to a yoga nidra meditation most most evenings every evening to actually fall asleep and i was and he had like little sleep sleep things and I was telling him about it and he created this thing called uh, aromatic pillow mist with pure essential oils so yeah so i thought and he said that you spray it on the edges of a pillow i'm gonna for showing purposes ah uh, i have this pillow on the edges of your pillow Oh, grand. I don't even sleep in this pillow. This is my 
this is my reading pillow <laughs> i've got reading pillows and sleeping pillows and all sorts of pillows uh, but this is nice so i got that and i'm really excited and then i bumped into uh, dimino and um, he's from sicily and he creates and his family have a farm and I resonate because my dad's got land in Dominican probably grows coffee and I want to do something with that but he he sells his family's um, olive oil here in the UK and I thought why not support I love oil, olive oil uh, we've got some here but we'll never actually can never have enough olive oil so really excited to eat that with some bread and then and then I was on my way out um, because I love pandas and I, I feel most of the time I'm a panda when my inner then then something happens and every now and then I can become a tiger but and, and that's kind of where I'm in my element like I want to be a tiger but most of the time I'm a fucking panda and I also embrace that panda in me and I got myself I don't know her name I don't know the name of the lady I can't really promote her but she's lovely and she's still in the market and she's there in the Covent Garden market and she's got this print and I bought this one because I thought it actually works like it even works well with what I'm wearing right now so I'm gonna wear it uh, with my Muji top that I bought his and hers for her one for me one for her spando in, uh, in when I went to Japan last year um my friend my friend tim and i went uh, we were we do tai chi and, and we were in a in a martial arts seminar in japan and we're like for a whole week in a dojo but uh, we escaped to muji at one point and when we were in in tokyo the, the martial arts training wasn't in tokyo well some of it was mostly it was in a dojo in the middle of nowhere hanoke and it was beautiful and we were like buying shit in Muji and blue blue bloom and buying all sorts of snacks and teas and whatever and uh, and he bought some jammies bought some jammies and I bought and I bought this I bought this like Japanese style top you know that I really love and I bought one for his bando because we have some his and hers tops that although we don't necessarily wear at the same time and we're like where is the day? His and her day. His and her day. But not necessarily ever happens that his and her day. He wears it when he wears it, and I wear it when I wear it. But I got this um, in Muji, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it matches with this. So yeah. So here I am, and uh, just I thought I would share with you um, what an amazing day I've got. If you ever, and today also, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to tell people that obviously today um, is Mental Health Day Awareness and I suffer, as I think most of people, with you know mental health every now and then, depression and all sorts. And um, but I'm okay, you know. Um, you find you find tricks, you find tr tools. Uh, I do a lot of inner work and um, my creativity, you know keeps me going my flowing and things like this you know um yeah i'm really happy and i'm really grateful with all the things and having you guys in my life um that's the love guys uh it's mental health mental health awareness i think we just no one People, people judge, people go, oh yeah, you're fine, or what does she think he, she is, or, or who's that guy, or whatever. But remember, um, everyone is most probably struggling with something, and we shouldn't judge just because, um, you know. And sometimes people just want, like, people sometimes just want to talk, so why not talk? And, uh, yeah. Uh, it's been really nice to chat to you send me a message um in the comments below if you want to have a chat or what have been your birthday presents um i'm still intending of carrying on tomorrow Ooh, of another artist day not sure but today's been grand and i'm really excited all right 
and here I am. The Warrior Rider. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>